I passed the Joint Stellar Starter Assessment and have since earned hundreds of dollars from the site. And I'll show you how to pass the Starter Assessment so you can start earning too. In this video, I'll briefly cover the sign up to the site, as well as the types of questions to expect and how you can best answer them. So you can get accepted onto the site, receiving an email like this. Search for the site at joinstella.ai, which will take you to the home page. And from here, you can click on get started to begin the sign up process. You will then have to enter your email and choose a password. Make sure to use an email that you have access to, as you will need to click on a verification link through it. Once that's done, you'll be able to begin the skill match assessment. They recommend you to allow up to 90 minutes to complete it. I would suggest you give yourself at least that much time as it's probably best to complete it in one sitting and you don't want to have to rush yourself. You can't use any AI tools to help you with this assessment. So no chat GPT or similar and they will be able to check for this. Within the test, there are a few different types of questions that you'll have to answer. Some are research based, some require creative writing, some require numerical sorting, and some require you to compare and use your judgment and explain why you made that choice. For the research question, you'll need to use Google to help you find the answer. I'd recommend you to split the question into two sections when Googling, as this will make it easier for you to find the answer rather than just Googling the full question in one go. You'll also have to explain your answer, as you will for almost all the questions. For this, take note of how long they want your explanation to be and ensure you meet this requirement. Also, double check your explanation for any spelling and punctuation mistakes. You don't need to go into loads of details for your explanation, but make sure they make sense and explain how you reached your answer. Another type of question you'll see is a comparison one. Here you will look at two responses and decide which is better. For this, take note of the criteria that the response had to follow and decide which response follows the criteria better and will best achieve the actual purpose of the prompt. You will have to justify your choice in the explanation. Be sure to mention the criteria given in the explanation. As you will often see in AI training starter assessments, there will also be a creative writing task. Again, it is vital that you do not use AI to help you write this, as you will fail if you use AI. Important things to note for this question are the length range they require for your story. You do want to try and stay within this range and you definitely don't want to fall under it. You'll be given criteria for where and when the story takes place and you must follow this. I'd assume that if you don't, you will fail. I like to take my story more specifically into the criteria. So if the question requested the story to take place in France, I might Google well-known places in Paris and base my story there. The obvious place would then be the Eiffel Tower and I could then use Google give me more details on the scenery at or around the tower to add depth to the story. You do have a lot of creative freedom with this question, so you can take it in any direction you want. Your story could be in first person or third person. You could link the criteria together if you wanted. For example, if the question asked for the story to be in France during the winter, you could base the story at a French skiing mountain in the snow. After you've finished and are happy with your story, you need to reread it, making sure that it reads well and makes sense and doesn't have any spelling or punctuation errors. Another question that you can expect in the assessment is one which will require you to categorize and sort data. For this question, you should carefully read through it and ensure you have taken note of everything that is required. I would advise you to categorize the data into two groups first, then sort each group, and then remove any numbers which the question states to remove. After you've completed your answer, 
you should read through it again to ensure you have correctly followed the instructions. Then you may see a question which requires you to again use Google to research. You should research all the possible answers and this will involve a bit of reading for each one. I do think this question is more about how you justify your answer rather than the actual answer you choose. So just make sure you can clearly explain why you chose the answer you did. The next question you may see is one where you have to edit a paragraph based on a certain genre of word. And you will have to put something before and after each instance of this word. This is testing your attention to detail and you should read through the question carefully as the thing you put before and the thing you put after the word may look the same but they are different so you need to ensure you are putting the correct one at the start of the word and the other one at the end again reread through your answer just to check you've done it correctly and not missed anything the final type of question you may see is another one that I think is more about the justification of the answer rather than the actual answer you choose. For this, you can use Google and a calculator to help you. And you should read through the question carefully. When Googling, check multiple sources to help you work out the answer. And even if you're unsure if you are correct, justify yourself in your explanation and mention the Google sources you use to work the answer out. I wasn't sure if I did this correctly, so chose the one closest to the answer I actually got and was able to pass. After this, you'll just have to fill in some details about yourself. And I suggest you answer these all honestly. And I don't think there'll be the difference between getting in or not. Once you've submitted your assessment, you may have to wait up to a month to get accepted and you should receive an email like this. However, if you don't pass the assessment, you will not receive any email letting you know. Join Stella do state that if you fail the test, you'll be able to retake it again in the future. So save this video just in case. Like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. And if you want another AI training site to try out, check out my video here where I show you how much money I made working 100 minutes on Outlier.